You know what I don't like? It's farming mangrove wood. And do you want to know what I've been doing the past couple of hours? This. Well, yeah. Also, but also this. That's a lot of mangrove logs. There's nothing really quite as tedious as farming a great deal of uh, mangrove logs, but I did find the best way to do it is plant a whole bunch close together and then TNT the heck out of it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Flow. Right now I've had enough of explodificating the trees. I just want to do something different right now. Right now I want to focus on these things over here, the pottery shirts. I've got six different ones already. Found these in the underwater ruins where I found the sniffer egg. But there's still plenty more to be found. I need to find a desert temple where we can find uh, several more as well as a desert well. And then uh, we can also find a whole bunch in the trail ruins. So that's my goal for today. I'm gonna start off with finding a desert. Well, I already did find a desert. I also connected it up with my nether hub. Let's uh, let's stick that way. And uh, it's actually quite far away, my nearest desert. Yeah, even in the nether, this is quite a long tunnel. Perhaps I still need to make the ceiling a bit higher. No, I'll definitely need to make the ceiling higher. Right, this should be the portal. It's my first time going through, so hopefully I got the coordinates correct and uh, I wind up in a desert. And we sure are, and we have got the subspace bubble advancement. Alright, let's fly around here a bit and see if we can come across a desert temple. And perhaps we've got some warm ocean ruins here. I still need one more pottery shirt from the ocean ruins, so let's find as much as we can. And right off the bat we find ourselves some warm ocean ruins. Perhaps we can find some more sniffer eggs, but most preferably I need the snort uh, pottery shirt. That's the the one I still need from the ocean ruins. Which one is this? Let's see. Shelter. No, already have that one. Ooh, we've got another one. Let's see. Oh, my brush broke. That's okay. Let, let's see. Ooh, we have the snort pottery shirt. That's good. That's the one we needed. And I mean, while we're here, we might as well check out this uh, shipwreck. Ooh, we have the smithing template here. That's perfect. I did already have that, the, the coast smithing template, but still, pretty nice to have more. Let's see, is there anything else here? What? More smithing templates in, this, in the same ship? I didn't know that was a thing, but uh, alright, we'll take it. Now I've got six of the coast armor trims already, I think. Alright, with that, let's now explore the desert. I've, I've discovered a village over here, and I wonder, yep, yeah, I already see it. The new Minecraft camel. This is a beauty, don't you think? I think this is a very good looking mob, but uh, I can't take you now. I uh, I don't really have the tools to take you home now. One day I'll come back for you, I promise. And I did just spot a desert well over here. Let's check it out. All right, what do you have? That looks like a stick. There's gotta be more underneath, right? Let's see, yeah, I already see some more suspicious sand. Let's brush this away. Ooh, it's a pottery shard. Shirt. What, which one is it? Brewer pottery shirt. That's alright. Didn't have that one yet. I do think you can find two different shirts from these uh, desert wells. So that means we need to find another one. Or maybe several other ones. So we can find the other one. I think the other one is uh, the arms up pottery shirt. By the way, I'm looking this up on the Minecraft wiki. That's why I know everything. Okay, let's put our newfound shirts in the collection box over here. And that is number eight. Aha, and just a couple of minutes later, I found my first desert temple. Let's go find what lies inside. What secrets are you hiding? Let's uh, find out. First of all, let's uh, dig down here and see what lies in the chests beneath. You can also find a dune armor trim in one of these chests. Um, well, there is a chance, so let's let's see. I'll take the golden apple. Ooh, there we have it. The dune armor trim smithing template. Perfect. All right, that is excellent. And another one. Good. And now, if we look around here, we should find ourselves some patches of sand as well as some suspicious sand. So let's dig everything out here. And uh, if we if we do that we should uncover another secret room that they've added to these uh, desert temples. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, we've got this whole thing excavated and we did get the miner and the prize pottery shirts from this temple, which is good. But I think there's two more to be found in desert temples, so I guess I'd better find myself some more temples. Right, let's get out of here, find ourselves another temple, and uh... Oh my goodness, do you, do you see that? That is another temple, that went rather quickly. Nothing, nothing, uh, nothing. Ooh, we do have some smithing templates. I'll take those. And uh, sweeping edge three, I'll take that. Ooh, silk touch, I'll definitely take that. Well, that is pretty decent loot. And after excavating the entire room over here, I did manage to get myself the skull and archer pottery shirts, which means I do have all four pottery shirts that you can find in desert temples. I still need to find one more of the desert wells, though. Let's see if we can find some of those. Unfortunately, no desert well, but I did find another temple. And I mean, I'm not just gonna let this one sit here now. I mean, no smithing templates, but we do have quite a lot of diamonds down here. That's a good thing. More diamonds, alright, I'll take those. Uh, since diamonds have become more precious, since uh, they, uh, they have actually a use for copying the smithing templates now. Uh, it took me quite some time, but uh, after half an hour or something, I did manage to find one. Well, let's see, what do you have? Please have the missing shirt. What's this? A brick. I don't need a brick. Alright, let's see. What do you have? What is it? Oh, it's another brick, I think. It is another brick. Alright, what about this one? Let's see. Oh, that's another brick. Uh, what about this one? Let's see. Ooh, it is. It is a shirt. Oh, I hope it's the right one. Please. Arms up, pottery shirt. Oh yeah, baby, that's the one I need. Ah, let's go. All right, perfect. I can finally, finally get out of this cursed desert. Let's just put this shirt in the collection box. Where's, where's my collection box? Oh no! Don't tell me I lost it. And my, oh, I probably forgot it in the previous desert temple. I think this was the one. Oh, I, I really hope it's still there. And it didn't despawn or something. Hello? Oh, it's there. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad it's still there. Oh, all right, let's put this here. And now we have all of the desert shirts that we can find. So let's move on. And this time with our uh, shulker box full of uh, precious shirts. Just dropping some stuff off at the base. Look at all these goodies. Uh, currently, I have 13 pottery shirts 13 different kinds and there's actually one more location we need to visit to collect all the rest of them and that is a trail ruins you can find seven different shirts in uh, the trail ruins and that's exactly what I'm going to find now let me grab some more rockets now these trail ruins they can appear in several different biomes we've got the old growth old growth birch biome uh, we've got a tiger biome and a jungle biome, I think. I'm not gonna go to a jungle to try and find one. I think it's a bit more difficult with all of the leaves and the foliage growing on the, the ground. But I do have a good location over here, I think. We have a bit of a sprucey area over here. So let's fly around here for a bit. Ooh, this is rather small, but I think there's more spruce biome over there somewhere let's fly around a bit and uh, see if I can maybe find a trail ruins and I've also heard that they're more likely to appear next to a body of water so perhaps I should uh, uh, walk around here a bit and uh, see if I can't find anything I'm afraid I'm gonna miss it if I uh, fly over so I'm just gonna follow the river over here and hopefully just maybe what's this oh my goodness like literally 10 seconds later that is I don't know if I just got very lucky or not but this is in fact a trail ruin ah aha all right I, I, what I want to do is try and excavate this as uh, carefully as I can first of all because I don't want to break any of the suspicious sand or gravel that we might encounter but also I want to dig out the entire trail ruins and preserve it as best as I can just to see how big they really are. Look at this, this is already suspicious gravel. Let's excavate this one. What's this? 
Is it a pink glass pane? So I'm just going to excavate everything, but then leave every kind of block that wouldn't normally generate in a Minecraft terrain. So I'm gonna leave all of the bricks and the terracotta and, and everything. And then, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see how big this, this thing actually gets. Well, that certainly took me a lot more time than I anticipated. Uh, turns out these uh, trail ruins, uh, they continued all the way under the river over here. So let's just have a look how big this place actually is, because you can see here we have the tower. This is the base of the tower, and this branches off into this building over here, and the one on the side over here. But then apparently there's a pathway going all the way down here, and there's a building over here which I completely emptied out. It's got a stairway going up with a cartography table. That's kind of interesting. And then uh, we've got some smaller structures over here. And I mean this over here, these three blocks. And then it stops over here. I dug down just a bit further to see if there was anything left. But I, I think this was it. Let's have a look at the loot we've gotten from this place. We do have all seven pottery shards that you can find in these uh, trail ruins over here. That means that we've got all of them, all 20 pottery shards that they put in the game. Uh, I've got them. I've got everything. These are the seven that you can find in the ocean ruins. These four are from the desert temples. These two are the desert wells and these seven uh, are the ones from the trail ruin and it's not only that we've also found a bunch more We've got two music discs the new relic music disc I really want to find out how that sounds and also three armor trims I really didn't know you could find three armor trims here. We've got the shaper the razor and the host armor trims So that's very cool. I don't know if that's all of them or perhaps there's more to be found in these ruins but this is great let's grab our stuff over here and then uh, and then go find ourselves a place to put all of these shards shards and for that let's go have a look at where we left off last episode where I built this little Japanese Zen garden over here and this is where the mangrove wood comes into play that I've been collecting at the start of the episode you'll see I have a whole bunch of materials over here. This over here is going to be an expansion to my little Japanese area I've got going on over here. I'm going to build a pagoda style temple thingy. Yeah, it's gonna look very Japanese, you'll see. I think it's best if we just roll that time lapse. End of time lapse, and I gotta say, this is looking pretty good. I'm actually very happy with the result with this one. Uh, let's let's go have a, a bit of a closer look. Let's try and make our landing in the garden here. There we go. So, looking at it from here, you'll see we've got quite a lot going on. The building the thing 
took me about five or six hours, but then an equal amount of time went into the landscaping and doing the surrounding terrain. So we've got stairs going up or a pathway uh, leading up here we've got some uh, lantern pillars over here and then off the side here to the right side we've got this uh, garden area it's a bit lower than uh, the actual pagoda temple uh, but we've got this quite large retaining wall over here which I do like the look of uh, instead of doing a whole bunch of terraforming and flattening the terrain I decided to try and work with the terrain as it was uh, by adding some retaining walls and some smaller platforms on which we can build maybe I can put some more sniffers here to roam around freely and then we've got some stairs going up here we can go all around the pagoda one thing I do love is these uh, lanterns over here these hanging lanterns I think they look quite nice I wanted to use banners first on the side of these uh, lanterns, but they don't render in from a very far distance, so I decided to go with trapdoors, and I'm actually quite happy with that choice. And then we can also go and have a look on the inside of the pagoda, and then we'll see all of our pottery shirts. These are really all of them, all 20 of them, and uh, underneath I also put a sign with their name and uh, the place where we can find them. So these, uh, this is the angler one. It's it's. I think it's a fishing rod. You can find those in the warm ocean ruins. The shelter, I think it's a tree, uh, also from the warm ocean ruins. One that I find quite interesting is this one over here, the mourner pottery shirt. It's clearly a warden. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, you can find those in the cold ocean ruins. And what I also like is the floor over here. You might be wondering, what is this kind of block? This is the top of the new chiseled bookshelves, which uh, also looks quite nice. Definitely in a floor pattern, also here in the walls. Oh, gotta sleep, but uh, let's just have a look at nighttime. This place looks very nice with the lanterns. And with our leftover shirts, I actually want to make some pots just to put on the shelves over here uh, for, for a bit of extra decorations. Let's see how this works. You can do something like that and then you'll have a different sign on each. Oh, uh, we've got the advancement. And can we put this here on the shelf? Yeah, we've got the heartbreak. This is the explorer. It's a map. The archer, I don't know, actually it's a bit of a waste putting also a shirt on the back, but that's okay. This is a nice one. Danger, it's it's a creeper. Yep, definitely danger over there. There we go, we've got a whole bunch of pots on the shelves. I think we've got most of the pottery shirts displayed this way on the sides as well. So, so that's good. Adding a nice extra touch and I'll just keep all of the spare pottery shirts I have. <coughs> somewhere over here maybe I think I'm gonna store them here still need to think about exactly how and where uh, but we do have plenty of space in here at first I was thinking of making a stairway going all the way up but then again the the space in here was a bit too limited and uh, making a whole staircase to the top would take up too much space I thought so I just put a ladder over here going all the way up and this is the top floor over here and we do have quite a nice view when we're standing here, too bad it's raining. But yeah, plenty of space in here to work with. And with this fine addition to my world, I think it's time to say goodbye for you for this episode. Let me know what you think about the build in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this episode. And maybe consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. That would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Flo and I will see you next episode on Building with Flo. Good. Bye.